Welcome to this mobility site. The video first look. Hey guys, Chris Lightness, MobilitySite.com, and the droid has finally invaded Mobility Site. Verizon was kind enough to send me one for review, and we're going to take a look at it. First thing we're going to do is unbox it. We're going to do a hardware tour, and then I'm going to take a couple, uh, little time to uh, play with it and get back with you on that. Um, coming up soon will be the uh, HTC HD2 unboxing and first look as well. So. Um, one thing I wanted to mention here, I saw in the box, comes with a pre-installed 16 gig micro SD card. What that does is puts it in line with the iPhone, 16 gig iPhone or some of the other devices that have large storage capacity there. Uh, we've got our device here which has some protectors there and we'll take a look at that. You've probably seen a hundred of these unboxes so I'll make it short and sweet. This one's obviously been opened up and used, uh, maybe just to be charged up, but got a micro, S, uh, micro USB to USB, and you've also got an AC adapter that the micro SD or the USB portion can charge up. You can use a wallet instead of your PC. And other than that, you've got a couple little pamphlets here, and that is it. Not a hell of a lot to find inside the box here. So we'll go ahead and close this back up and take a look at this device here. Come here. There. It's a packaging. Who cares? It's not. It's a pretty box, but it's not very functional. Let's see here. We we'll get these. Uh, get these little protective coverings off, and then we'll go to work. All right, this one is up underneath the battery cover. There we go. All right, well, I've got, the, well, actually, let me go back to that. We'll go ahead and put that back on. It slides up like that. That is really a thin looking device. I am pretty impressed with the thickness of it considering that it has a slide out keyboard. Uh, it's really, if you have not touched the device, it's really hard to fathom just how thin this is considering that. I mean, if you look, you know, some of these other QWERTY uh, slide outs, they're quite big. So anyway, let's looking at the device on the front. You've got a speaker up here, a uh, 3.7 inch um, screen here. You've got these buttons here, which are not physical buttons, but they're on screen soft keys, if you will. Um, I've read that they're, the pressure of these is a little less sensitive than the actual screen to keep from accidental you know presses in your pocket or whatever so uh, you've got this little chin kind of thing it's not a little turned up chin like the G1 but not really sure why they didn't just extend that out but anyway so on the side here you've got your camera button here in a gold finish here uh, and by the way the thing feels really heavy real solid metal construction with a little soft rubbery back uh, covering over the metal so back to the side here uh, camera button you've got a volume rocker here on top you've got your um, power button and a three and a half millimeter jack on the other side you have the micro USB slot which is in kind of an awkward weird spot right there in the middle of the top there on the bottom you have nothing on the back we've got this five megapixel camera with a dual LED flash and a back cover here for the battery compartment and that's a big speaker for your speaker phone there and we will take the back cover off of here you've got a nice chunky battery uh, I think it's 14 uh, 1420 milliamp hours or 1400 let's see uh, it's probably written on here somewhere uh, 1420 at 5.3 volts so uh, like I said pre-installed there is a 16 gig micro SD card which uh, I just slapped out there you can't take it out without taking the battery out that's the only drawback to having it up under here like this and I'm gonna have a hard time getting it back in there on camera uh, so give me just a moment here and I'll get this slid back up in there there we go alright I'm gonna put the battery back in like this put your cover back on 
slide it on up and there we have it so let me grab a couple devices and we'll take a look at it uh, alongside some other hot all right let's stuff. take a look at these devices here i'll we'll start with the i guess you would say the the target for the Verizon ad campaign, the iPhone 3GS. I've got the actual 32 gig model here, so you can't compare the size, the um, the capacities of uh, 32 gig here with the card involved, 16 gig here. Uh, the iPhone is about the same height, about the same width, and about two thirds the thickness of the the Droid, which is quite impressive considering we have the slide out keyboard there which I actually forgot to show you in the initial demonstration of the hardware. So yeah, it's definitely about the same footprint uh, with the chin on this thing, which I'm not really sure what that's all about. It's identical almost in height. I'm sure there's some millimeters if you actually pull out the numbers. Um, the screen on the Droid is obviously a little bit bigger and the pixel count is quite a bit more than the iPhone. The picture should be better on this device, but will, remains to be seen. So, that's embarrassing. Okay, that was quite the, uh, that was, pro I think out of 200 some videos I've done, that is the very first time that I've actually got a phone call while I was holding the phone that rang. Uh, I've had phones ring before that are sitting that aren't active or they're active but they're not ones I'm using right now so that was quite interesting that was Stephen Hughes uh, aka FYI guy if you've ever heard of him so um, anyway uh, there you go with the iPhone 3G S let's move on to another hot device that's uh, on AT&T currently as well as the iPhone 3GS and that is the HTC Tilt this is our Tilt 2 excuse me this is not the Tilt 2 this is the Touch Pro 2 which is the same thing but it too is a slide out keyboard device and there you have it so um, height wise we're looking at about the same we're looking at roughly the same screen I think this is a three and a half inch this is 3.7 inch uh, the height is about the same like I said width about the same but or uh, height and uh, vertical width there the thickness uh, the uh, Verizon Droid just kills the Touch Pro 2 there or aka the HTC Tilt 2 so but anyway um, what else do we have here we have the Samsung moment on Sprint which I'm reviewing right now and I actually quite like it considering the the uh, lack of extras that the uh, 1.5 or one I think it's 1.5 or 1.6 OS I just did a video recently I think it's 1.5 or no it's cupcake anyway so here um, screen on the moment is about a half inch to three quarters inch shorter and about the same width uh, thickness wise you're looking at a little bit thicker for the the uh, moment and like uh, like that it's also a slide out keyboard device which I'm prefer I prefer a slider personally. I'm using the iPhone right now, and I'm getting used to on-screen keyboards. But I've I used to rely so heavily on having a slide-out keyboard or a physical front-facing keyboard like the Blackberries or the uh, Blackjack on AT&T or whatever. So, so anyway, there you, there you go. Um, yeah, it's a actually that's the same size screen roughly. If you can see that, uh, it's kind of hard to tell through the video. About the same height, about the same width, thickness, obviously we're looking at about a third more here than we have on the droid. So that's about it with the sliders I have to show you. Uh, let's look again at the, um, at the keyboard here. The keyboard is flush. All these keys are flush and it's not raised at all. So I can see, you know, not having actually turned this thing on and used it yet. I could see that possibly being a problem of knowing where you are on the keyboard. I don't feel any, well there's a little dot there on the F and the J to give you a visual indication or a, uh, a feel it, uh, thing where it's at. Um, here's the thing that I was critical of when we first started seeing the screens, the, the leaked pictures of this device come out and that's this D-pad. I just don't like where it's at. I believe, I'm not sure it was a Samsung device, the SGH, 
I I can't remember which one it was, but it had a weird offset D-pad in a place that you wouldn't think. But so anyway, on this one you've got uh, four rows of keys. You've got your number keys uh, instead of function on a lot of phones. It says Alt here, and you just do it that way. I, I prefer a number row dedicated personally, but some people like it this way, and that's going to really help out for a lot of people. So feels like it's going to really be nice. Uh, as for the actual spring mechanism, you've got to you've got to continue to put pressure all the way across. It doesn't finish up with with it with like spring activated keyboards like this one. If you start it, it'll finish on its own. You've actually got to finish the movement on here. And I believe for the long haul, if you're going to use a phone for more than a year or something, that slider, you know, wearing out is a import is is quite important for some people. However. I rarely keep a phone long enough to even break it in, let alone uh, wear it out. So um, I, I like it. I do like that. I kind of, I kind of wouldn't mind the spring action, but this at the same time isn't all that hard to open up. It's, it's not as easy to open up as some of these. But anyway, so a little clicks, kind of annoying, but hey, it works. Overall, the physical feel of the device is very solid. It feels really thin. I can't really even tell the difference between this and the iPhone just by feel, except for it's not as smooth and rounded, but uh, we've got the little chin there. But all these parts, well, you can't really hear that, but if you can see there, it's uh, metal. And on the back panel here, you've got kind of a rubbery uh, finish there to get, help your grip out when you're holding the device. And the front is all metal, and it's really solid feeling. It feels more like an HTC device than you could ever imagine. It, it really feels good. Motorola has done a great job with this phone. So anyway, let me get some juice on it, get it charged up, get some time to play with it, test some things out, and I will come with a part two software tour pretty soon. Uh, it'll probably be maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I've got the HD2 to look at as well. So I'm going to be looking at these kind of concurrent, concurrently, but I've got to get this one out the door to our reviewer on mobility side a little quicker. So I want to give the first attention to this device than the HD2. So anyway, my name is Chris Lightness, MobilitySite.com. Come by and check us out. We've got some big contests coming up for our anniversary. I've got about six or seven phones so far to give away and looking forward to it. So uh, check us out. Have a good day.